Hey there, thanks for tuning in to the Start and Grow Show. I'm Craig. Today I'm gonna to show you how to build a super dead easy sales funnel just for lead capture. So I'm gonna do this for my newsletter and I'll show you what I built and then I'll show you how I built it. So again, we're doing this in ClickFunnels 2.0. If you wanna uh, try this out, there's a trial in the link in the description down below. By all means, give it a whirl and see what you think. Uh, I'll even, uh, it, for those that comment and let me know down below, I can give you a share funnel, which is actually this whole funnel that you can then bring into your uh, ClickFunnels 2.0 uh, account. So just to show you what we're building here, it's this simple. It's really just a high level headline uh, and a call to action to subscribe to my newsletter. It's really that simple. And this has pretty decent conversions. When I dive into where the funnels are in ClickFunnels, you can see, again, this is all new. I've just been moving everything to, to uh, ClickFunnels. But if we look at this funnel here, uh, I've only had 30, 44 page views. 34 unique visitors and 11 opt-ins. So already, as I'm just starting to build my newsletter here on ClickFunnels, I'm already getting like 30% conversions. So it works, um, but here, let's dive in and show you what this is about. So this is my start and grow newsletter funnel. It's a very basic opt-in funnel. And so again, what's cool about ClickFunnels is it all starts with the workflow because we're building a sales process or a, a newsletter process where people subscribe and then you know get a thank you page and then off you go with uh, a welcome email so this is showing you right here you know how i built this so i started off at the beginning here i basically created a new page and that brought me into what i've got here so i did a uh, an opt-in page the one you saw and then i did a thank you page so let's look first at how simple the opt-in page is and again when you go and create a new page in ClickFunnels, it gives you templates, and I've built my own brand on here with my own colors and, and all that that I like. Um, but it's really this simple. So if you look, the editor uh, is pretty basic. I've got one section here, and then another footer section down below. And as you can see, there's not much to this. So the core section here that I did have, I actually created with a, a simple background. As you can see, it's blurred. Uh, I just pull that image in here. Uh, I added a little bit of foreground and background just to blur it and just make it more white. I just added simple heading elements on here. So again, easy to drag and drop a heading element, write what it is you want. You can then click in and you can change all the settings on the side here for different sizes. You want to go extra large, medium, what have you. You can change all the you know padding and things like that of each little item. Uh, you know, it's that simple. So I don't need that. We already got that there. So I can just delete that. Um, I brought in another row and I basically put in uh, these different components for my form. So if we look at the email form, as I added these, just like I would add anything else, um, you know, I can show you this. We just add an element. You go down onto here and you can look for input. Inputs there. And then you can then format that as you need. So if I go into the general settings of the email, you can hear, here's where you can change, you know, the label text that's in there. So I wrote, enter your best email, uh, your input type. Again, this is because you got a form here and you're going to be submitting this when you hit the subscribe. Subscribe button, same. You can add this in, change all the settings. And then on click, you want to submit the order form. So you're basically going to submit the form, which is going to add this email to your ClickFunnels CRM, where then you can, uh, you know, do a bunch of things. So we'll start with just that. That's a simple thing. And then we're done. And so all we got to do, you can add a footer on here. You can add, you know, another section if you want. If you want to get fancy, you can add all kinds of things. Uh, it's very simple. Like here's a, there's even templated ones you can add in. Let's drag one of these in and see how this looks. Right. So there, look at this. You can use this one as just a section in there. Very simple. I did my own, but again, here's, this is how easy it is to just modify and update these things as you go. And, you know, if you want to change the picture to a picture of yourself, very easy, easy to make a simple opt-in funnel. ClickFunnels makes it super easy. I don't want that. Getting rid of it. And there we are. So if we want to move to the next piece of this, so once they click on subscribe, they get added to my CRM system, and then I take them over to a thank you page. Let's save here. So we'll save this out. And then when you go to the thank you page, I'm doing two things here when I get people to land on my thank you page. A, I want them to, you know, A, thank them for, uh, 
you know, contributing and giving me their, their email. And then I basically want to then send them off on to, you know, the next step. And really in this next step, it's just, just, you know, a welcome. And then I'm providing some of my free growth guides, which is really just taking them over to my blog. Um, fairly simple. If I just kind of, sh let's show the preview of this page. So there you go. So glad you subscribed. Talk to you soon. I just kind of sign in. Then I give them some other things to read if they want. From here, I send out a welcome email. Again, I can show you that. So one of the things I do when people subscribe to this form is I add a tag to them in uh, the CRM. And they get tagged with newsletter because this funnel is for people subscribing to my newsletter. Once they're added to that, I basically uh, created a workflow in the marketing, in the email marketing side that corresponds to this particular funnel. And so here, what I do is I have a workflow called Welcome to the Start and Grow Academy. And this is the email workflow now that basically gets triggered when I add uh, you know, new people to this newsletter uh, funnel. So for example, they use that funnel that we were just working on, subscribe to the Start and Grow newsletter. So anybody that clicks that submit button lands into this newsletter. Here's where I add the tags. So I basically, anyone who comes from that page, I add the tag so I know it's newsletter so that when I'm actually sending out my newsletters, it's going to the right people on my list because I my list has more people that you know have come through other funnels and not just through my newsletter subscription. So again, just a simple action of adding newsletter tag and you know we're ready to go. From there, once the tag is added, I send out my welcome email. And so my welcome email is just that welcome. You know, here's what you can expect. I give some links out to my blog, to some of my most popular growth guides, you know, what, whatever it may be. And then I just put them on uh, a delay. So again, here, why don't we just jump in and look at the edit of the email? It's very simple. Welcome email. Um, really you're just introducing yourself and, and, and you know, kind of setting the stage, uh, you know, for talking more about yourself and really for that newsletter that you're going to be publishing, uh, you know, on an ongoing basis. So once this opens up, we can look how simple it is. So welcome to the Start and Grow newsletter. Um, I encourage them to join me on social, on TikTok, on Twitter, on YouTube, platforms I'm on, and then free growth guides. And, you know, invite them to reply back again to, to my email. I'm always open for dialogue and discussing, you know, anything about, uh, you know, my business with my followers and my subscribers. So that's basically it. That's how you build a very simple, uh, you know, landing page for capturing leads for a newsletter. Um, this is just one basic, simple sales funnel. There's many more sales funnels you can build, but I encourage you to give this one a try. Like I said at the beginning of this, if you want to share a funnel, ClickFunnels has a cool feature where you can basically share out this whole funnel and I can give you a copy of it if you're interested. If you're interested in that, leave a comment below and I'll be sure to get in touch with you and we can uh, I can share you over that link. But um, yeah, that's all we got for today. Thanks so much for listening. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. would really appreciate you giving this a like, you know, share it out to your network and definitely subscribe to the Start and Grow show. We're growing and we want to help you grow too. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you soon.